Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to have a look at this poster that has been seen in a shop over in Japan. What is special about this poster, I hear you say? Well, there are actually a couple of cards from Shiny Treasures EX, and therefore, by extension... We imagine, Paude and Fates, which can be spied on this poster that we haven't actually seen anywhere else. And this is very, very cool. And let's not bury the lead. We've got ourselves a rather lovely poor me. I know. How lovely is that? So it is very clearly a special illustration. Rare poor me. And look. This makes me, many things make me very, very happy about the Pokemon trading card game, all right? But what we've got here is artwork of a regular poor me cuddling up with a shiny poor me. And I think that is absolutely adorable, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely adorable. Oh, as a side note, I'm pretty sure this video is going up on Thanksgiving. So, huge shout out to all of you guys who watch my videos. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And of course, as cliched as it might sound, I don't care. I am extremely thankful for any of you lovely ladies and gentlemen that ever give up any of your time to watch my videos. Because you watching my videos means that I can... Well, work from home, spend a lot of time with my kids, have a job I genuinely absolutely love doing. It really makes a difference. I'm incredibly grateful. And then, of course, all the kind words, all the messages, all the offers of help, all the kind things you guys do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, which is extensive, incidentally. You guys are brilliant. So this poor me then, what's special about it? It's an illustration rare. And that's kind of a big deal because this is a shiny set. The entire point of Shiny Treasures EX, yes, the clue is very much in the name, is that it is a shiny set, very much in the vein of Shining Fates, for instance, which we got a while ago. But it is apparently more than Shining Fates. Now, I do need to say, this is obviously not the first illustration rare we've seen from the set. I showed you a special illustration rare Arvin just yesterday, which obviously showed us that they were coming. And we have, of course, seen the Mimikyu, which is going to be in the set in Japan, but it's not actually in the set for us. For us, it is being put in the Elite Trainer box. And I suppose if you want to be pedantic, remember there is a second version in the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer box where you will get it just the same version, but with a stamp. Usual deal, you buy the regular Elite Trainer box, you get the regular version. You buy the Pokemon Center exclusive, you get both. And this is just another one that we've gone and been shown. But don't get too excited, because of course, we do need to bear in mind that we're not getting many of these. And we know we're not getting many of these, incidentally. This isn't some kind of prediction. We know, because there was a press release. And in the press release, now this was for Powder and Fates. They told us three illustration rare cards featuring shiny Pokemon and eight special illustration rare cards featuring shiny Pokemon EX or supporter cards. Now, I know this was the press release for the English version for Powde and Fates, but even though the sets aren't going to be exactly the same, the secret rares largely should be. One thing that needs to be borne in mind, when Pokemon tell us these numbers, they are telling us the numbers in booster packs. So because Mimikyu is being taken out of booster packs to be put in the Elite Trainer box, there will be four illustration rares or artwork rares in Japan that can be found in Shiny Treasures of the Exa Japanese set. Only three in our set. So we know that there's essentially four total. One is Mimikyu and one is Poor Me. And yeah, Poor Me looks kind of cool. And I love the artwork here. Of course, Poor Me is also getting a shiny version. We have seen that. It has been officially revealed. And that's kind of cool because, of course, Mimikyu is getting an illustration rare, as I've just shown you. And we've seen the shiny version of Mimikyu as well. And some of you are going to look at this and go, hang on a second. 
I'm seeing a little bit of a pattern here. And yeah, you probably are. Although I cannot guarantee, obviously, I do think at this stage it's pretty likely, not guaranteed, but pretty likely that the Special Illustration Rares will all have shiny versions. I.e. if it doesn't have a shiny, it's not having an Illustration Rare. But they don't have to be from Paudea, because Mimikyu isn't. Which ones do I want to see? I would love to see a Dondozo or a Tatsugiri. I would love to see a Graveyard. These are ones that I would love to see an Illustration Rare of. This would make me very, very happy. Oh, or Halucha. That would be pretty gosh darn cool as well. So yes, we are getting Illustration Rares, and yes, that is brilliant. But you need to remember the numbers here are small. There are four regular Illustration Rares. That is it. That is all you get. You aren't getting any more. Compare that to about 130 regular Shiny Pokemon. There are eight Special Illustration Rares that are being shared between Shiny Pokemon EX and Supporter Cards. Whereas in terms of Shiny, I don't know, there's going to be around about 15 or more. There's going to be a bunch of them. So just hold your horses a little bit. And look, I love that we're getting Illustration Rares in this set. It's brilliant. It's awesome. It's wonderful. It makes me happy. All right. Let's not pretend there's going to be a million of them. There are going to be 12. There are going to be four Pokemon and eight EXs slash supporters, and that's going to be it. Still more than there were in Shining Fates. Still brilliant that we're getting them. But like I tell you, we do need to calm down a little bit and just kind of remind ourselves that yes, they're here, and yes, that's awesome, but the number is going to be pretty gosh darn small. Now, if we take a look at the rest of the poster, there's a lot of stuff we've already seen. It shows us Great Tusk and Iron Treads. Lovely, but we've seen them. It shows us Shiny Gardevoir and Charizard. Lovely, but we've already seen them. We can see a reprint of Iono and a reprint of Mew, which are lovely, but as you know, we've already seen them. Chen Pao and Zatu, which are new artwork. We've had the Chen Pao in the EX deck. We've not had the Zatu. Cool, but we've already seen them. But then we can spy a couple new shinies, which are hidden, at least on the angle we've got. But we can see them and we can make them out. Including LeChonk. There is a shiny LeChonk and I love it. It's awesome. It's brilliant. Big fan, ladies and gentlemen. Big fan. Also, I've seen this kind of referred to as a leak. You know I don't cover leaks. It's literally been posted on the window of a shop in Japan. And someone's just wandered past and taken a picture of it. I should say this comes from Fix Up X over on Twitter. And we've got a shiny LeChonk. Now look, I wish we had a better look at this LeChonk, all right? Obviously, I wish we had a better look at this LeChonk. We don't. I'm doing the best we can. But look, I'm showing you all the ones as they come around. There is a new LeChonk, and this is awesome. And weirdly, even though it's a tiny, 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 tiny image, we can still see it's got an attack for free colorless energy, which makes it the whimsy tackle LeChonk from Scarlet and Violet. Uh, 70 damage for free energy. Flip a coin if Tails this does nothing, which is a weird kind of card, right? Because does anybody actually want to put free energy on a 70 HP Pokemon? Does anybody really want to flip a coin and if Tails do nothing? But as an emergency attack in a deck which is accelerating energy, so can get the energy on there, it's not terrible. And then there's one more new card we can see on the poster, and that is Noibat. And there is a part of me that's kind of proud. And there's another part of me that's kind of like, I can see this poster. And even though some of the card images aren't great, I can immediately not only recognize every single card, but also which ones have been revealed, which ones haven't, where they come from, etc. I think I should be proud of myself. But there's an outside chance it should be the opposite. Uh, as a side note, we've only had one Scarlet and Violet Noibat. So this is very clearly the one from Paudea Evolved. And you can see there just about that it's got a two energy attack with no effect. So, and a single attack at that. 
And the last time we had a Noibat with a two energy attack with no effect and no second attack was never, incidentally. This is the only Noibat we have literally ever had which has one attack with no effect and no second attack. So it has to be this one. Even though it's the only one from the Scarlet and Violet era. So it kind of has to be this one as well. Uh, as a fun little side note, we did get a shiny Noi back previously. It was a colorless back then. But this is still kind of cool that we got it. So yay! I'll let you decide which of these looks cooler. I think probably the new one. But we, we really don't have a good look at the new one. So yeah. The big story here, of course, is very much the fact that we do have ourselves one of four illustration rares, artwork rares that is coming around in this set. That's pretty cool. I adore the artwork. And this is where I come and interrupt myself from the future. Because you might have noticed on the thumbnail and indeed right at the start of the video, a shiny Flamigo. You see, it turns out when I recorded this video, there were... Well, I showed you everything we had. I showed you the news from Scarlet and Violet 4A from Shiny Treasures EX. And then right as I was in the middle of editing it, the lovely folks over at Pokemon in Japan went and revealed Flamigo and a couple of other cards. So we need to have a chat about Flamigo and a couple of other cards. Yep, this is annoying when this happens. <laughs> but you know what? At least we got to get in and get this in the video rather than having to make another video later. So you know what? On balance, not too bad. This is, of course, the Flamigo that has United Wings. 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has a United Wings attack. And the ability Instaflock that when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three Flamigo, reveal them, whack them in your hand. Basically, you play one of these down, you get all your Flamigo, and they've got United Wings. And we've seen United Wings do all right at regionals over in the US. We've seen some day two finishes. And if you're playing it, this is pretty cool. Of course, I've previously shown you that we saw the Wattrel, the United Wings Wattrel, which is coming in this set as a shiny and a brand new killer Wattrel, which adds to the deck and then also has a shiny. So we've seen a bunch of United Wings already. This is just our old friend Flamigo. And on the one hand, love Flamigo. One of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. Absolute backbone of my team on my initial playthrough Pokemon Violet. And on the other hand, I mean, it, yes, it, it's a shiny, but it's just kind of different shades of pink. I like shinies which are more out there. That's just me. Like the lovely Holutra I showed you a minute ago. That's a shiny. That makes me happy. So we have got the Flamigo, but we've also got the Murkrow. And of course, Murkrow is the one with United Wings. Simple as that. It's got United Wings, single energy, 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile with the United Wings attack. And they also showed off this Murkrow at the same time, which should look familiar to all of us, because this is actually Murkrow which came as a pre-release promo for us for Powder Evolved, and is now being printed in Japan without the Powder Evolved stamp. Obviously, it's not a pre-release promo anymore, chucked in here. As I've told you a few times now, these end-of-year sets, Japan often takes them as an excuse to catch up on things like pre-release promos that we've had that Japan hasn't. But they don't always get all of them. So every time they reveal a new one is kind of a big deal. For instance, we do have both Togekiss and Finian. And of course, what they have in common is they are Okacheke artwork. Neither of those have been confirmed to be coming in Scarlet and Violet 4A in Japan as it stands at the moment. Although, as a side note, we should know the full set list tomorrow, so we'll know for certain whether they're in there or not. So there we go, couple United Wing Shinies and a new print of Murkrow just flipped in under the wire. Right, let's get back to the outro of the video, shall we? But we have confirmed a couple of uh, shiny Pokemon, and we've had a good chat about what these illustration rares mean in this set, and how scarce they're going to be which I think means job done and we can all move on and have a lovely Thanksgiving. So this is the point where you tell me what you think about this new poor me and anything else you want to tell me in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. 
And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. Oh, and get shoutouts on the channel, of course, like the lovely Andrew Kincaid, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person, and has helped me out with a bunch of stuff, and I can confirm is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for both the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.